It's been a minute, but welcome back to HD Video Production on a Budget. I'm John Acosta. Let's get right into it. As stated before in previous sections, lighting is absolutely key when it comes to producing a quality image. Without it, the sensors in your camera have trouble recording what they're looking at. And if you're shooting on auto, your camera will push up the settings inside of the program in your camera as high as it can in order to compensate for that missing light which usually leaves you with a noisy and grainy image. And trust me, that is no fun for anyone involved. From the shooter to the actual editor, it just becomes a nightmare when you don't have good lighting. So as a general rule of thumb, always, always, always have good light. But even more importantly, it's best to know what kind of light your shoot will need. Because believe it or not, having the wrong type or intensity of lighting can blow out your image and in some cases even cheapen the look of your image by making it look really amateurish. So the golden rule for lighting your set is to make the light look as natural as possible to the camera. And in order to produce a naturally looking shot, I find it best to understand the basic science of light first. Now I'm not saying you have to turn into a scientist or some sort of a physics or molecular chemist. I'm just saying that it's nice to know these things because once you do, you can conquer every single set by walking in saying light here, 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 boom, go. Wouldn't that be nice? Cool. So here are the three basic principles that you should know before lighting any set. The first one is light temperature and how it's measured. Secondly is the different types of light that's produced by these temperatures. And finally, how lighting intensity is measured. Color temperature is a number that tells you how hot or cold a light will appear. It's not measured in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius like you would imagine, but instead it has its very own thermodynamic temperature scale called the Kelvin scale. And yes, if you're asking yourself, why does that sound so familiar? It's because you learned it when you took chemistry in like high school. But don't worry, I'm not gonna go into ionic bonds, intermolecular force, or Dalton's law of partial pressures. That's for an entirely different Udemy course. But in regards to lighting, Kelvin. Kelvin is the unit of measurement for color temperature. And its abbreviation is a capital K. So when you're purchasing a light kit and you want to know what color the light bulbs are going to be, this really helps. In a nutshell, cool colors like blue and white generally have color temperatures over 7,000 K, while warmer colors like red and orange lie around the 2,000 K mark. Now just like Kelvin measures the color temperature of your light kit, light intensity is measured in watts. This is basically the amount of light that's pushed out of a bulb, giving your set an appropriate amount of lighting. Every set is essentially different, but let's take an interview shoot with two people in the shot. In this situation, I'd recommend at least three light sources. These lights should total between 750 to 900 watts. And in this example, one light would be pushing 500 watts, the second might be pushing 250 watts, and the third, about 150 to 250 watts, equating right around 900 watts. Keep in mind that in most all situations, more wattage will result in a better, crisper picture. So consider this 900 watt example a bare minimum for a simple interview shoot. Now this example is based entirely on tungsten lighting, which are light bulbs that get very hot and are typically very expensive. But considering the fact that you're going to be building your light kit on a friendly budget and in a 21st century eco-friendly manner, you probably won't be using tungsten lights. You'll be using fluorescent light bulbs. They're the hype right now, they're very readily accessible. In certain circumstances, they are even a little more expensive, but they last a lot longer than an incandescent light or a, a translucent light. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky, so please follow along here. The major caveat to light wattage is that it's not 100% consistent when it comes to fluorescent lights. The general rule of thumb when you're buying a fluorescent light kit is to just multiply the wattage by four and that will give you the standard wattage for the results I gave you earlier. So that example interview shoot that we talked about before that said we'd need like 900 watts to light it properly would actually only need about 225 watts of fluorescent lighting to get the exact same results. And here's the best part. These fluorescent light kits are actually a lot cheaper than those big bulky tungsten lights of the past. And I know we talked about that before, but I have to reiterate the fact that that is awesome. And here's the even better part. They don't push out that much energy, which makes them all around more eco-friendly and more wallet friendly. Crazy, right? The funny thing is, when I first started working with fluorescent lighting, I didn't know this little trick, and I ended up spending entirely too much money on multiplying my light kits, my fluorescent light kits, for no reason, because I thought I was lighting up the same amount of wattage um, that a tungsten wattage lighting kit would do. So I had a tungsten wattage mindset instead of a CCT fluorescent mindset. 
And rather than going into the science of how fluorescent light and CCT measurements work to produce this lower wattage, I'll just save you the headache and tell you to trust me. But if you do want to know, there's a link in the left in the supplementary section of this lecture. All right, hopefully that gives you a better understanding of how lighting works, what color to use on your sets, and what wattage to work with to save you money and still get some incredible results. Now in our next lecture, we're gonna talk about how to use these lights and set up a classic three-point lighting technique to get your productions looking awesome. So don't be shy, give it a click, and I'll see you on the production side.